All right, we got Russian lunge to vertical jump to lunge. Now these are harder moves. Don't get frustrated, be patient. And most importantly, make sure you have the for form perfect. If you're struggling with these or they're bothering you in a negative way, let me know and also take a quick video so I can help you with these. Uh, even professional athletes won't get these overnight. But once you do get these, it means you're starting to learn how to use your muscles, the proper muscles, you're getting your form down, and they're starting to work and engage properly. Because remember, it's all about absorbing and creating force. If you can't do that, you're going to suck at most things in life, and you're going to get hurt. Okay? So, Russian lunge, one, two, three vertical jump to lunges. And then we'll take like a minute rest, maybe two. How are you feeling? I know this is new, so... Catch the breath, and here's what it'll look like before we almost switch sides. But here's what it'll look like Russian lunge. So, come to your lunge, I like to step into it like this, fully lengthened, driving ball of the foot in the ground using this front hamstring leg curl, driving back ball of the foot in the ground, squeezing this back glute. So, your body comes upright, feel this hip flexor lengthen, draw your core in, pull your shoulder blades down, proud chest, try to push that heel back and straighten that back leg. So, from here, you're going to jump straight up, you're going to lift up with this hip flexor curl with this back leg. What we want it to avoid is going like that with the front leg. Remember, hip flexor stays at 90. So then you'll kick out and it'll pull back in so you can absorb with that hamstring. And we want to avoid this back leg. Don't let it, one, come in. It always is going to want to come in and it want to come out. So make sure you keep it centered so it just curls like that. This leg goes like that. This leg goes like that. So your legs are just lifting up like that and you're falling back in a lunge so you can absorb the force properly and then we'll go into the vertical jump from lunge there i'll go right into it then explain the vertical jump so here's the russian lunge all right now we're gonna go hop up now we're going to vertical jump to lunge Three of them. so that's what it looks like you're gonna rest a little Switch sides, check sets, sets, reps, and rests on the sheet. Now, on that vertical jump, I didn't explain yet. Pressing the balls of the feet in the ground so you can load. Pulling down with your hamstring, pushing your butt back so much that you want to pull down with your hamstring. That would create tension. So you want to explode up with your quads and your glutes. Frustrating there, drive all the way up through your toes as high as you can. So you're vertical jumping. Then, when you get to that highest position, use that hip flexor, that back glute, bring your legs into that perfect lunge in the air. So it'll be like this. All the way up, switch into it. Absorb the force. See how I stick it, it's quiet, and I absorb the force. No, it doesn't bother my knees or anywhere because you use your muscles to absorb the force because we're training them to be lengthened. And if you're doing this workout, it should be, because it means you've been training with me for at least a month or two. All right, let's do it.